I'm Raven, and I'm having a pint in all 32 counties in Ireland. Next up, County Monaghan. With our most Shakespeare reenactor shirt on, we started by playing. Is the hand past its best by date still good? Yeah, it's fine. And we were off to Basaras. Something that I've noticed is people really love leaving up their Christmas decorations after New Year's. Which I... I do realize I say as I've finally taken down my December 2022 calendar. So we're going to Castle Blaney Monaghan because user Crusty Pillows, what kind of a name is that? Told me to. And again, I don't Google anything. But I got lucky because I met a very nice lady named Rosie on the bus who's from Castle Blaney and gave me suggestions for things to do and see in the area. And so I had arrived. I got to see some of the murals near the bus stop, the Friendly Cafe, Main Street, pub that's confused about its own name, and the unreleased works of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. However, I soon started to realize that this place is pretty dead. And maybe it was the heavy fog, or the fact that I'd passed maybe two people walking on the street, but it all felt very Silent Hill. Tom on my way, wait, sorry, the Monaghan way towards Loch Mukno, which was a little less Silent Hill and a little more Misty Mountains, Lord of the Rings vibes. I got to enjoy the flora and fauna as I walked the Mukno Peace Path, and there I saw more people with their families and dogs. I'm getting better at doing that little acknowledgement smile, you know, the one that goes like, getting better. The path to peace was cut short, however, when I learned that the 3 p.m. bus was canceled and I confirmed on the TFI app. So the only buses available to my next county were at seven or in 30 minutes. Being about 20 minutes outside of town, I hustled the Monaghan way back to the main street in 10 minutes to Dignam's bar, Rosie's suggestion. Only no one showed up for seven minutes to the point where other patrons were yelling like, hey, there's a lady there, but we're running out of time. So I start trying to find anywhere that's open. And now we keep it clean for the most part here on 32 counties, 32 pubs, but Raven fans, I let out one long until I reached Bally McManus because I had to get on that bus or I had to wait till the one to Dublin comes back in seven hours. And as I tried the door with my last hope for a pint dangling by a thread, it opened. And there was Stephen the barman. He looked at me and I looked at him and I said, are you open? And he said, yeah. So I ordered a half pint of Heineken because I was running real low on time. And lads, I pounded that pint as fast as a Dubliner can spot a tourist waiting at a red walk sign. As I paid for my pint, I explained what I do and why I do it. And so as I say, I just need to get the final shot. He went, shots? And gave me a shot of Mickey Finn's. Cheers. That's 15 out of 32 counties, 23 and a half pints consumed. Special thanks to Rosie and Steven, and a huge thank you to all the Raven fans that support the show using the links in my bio. There's a lot less crying in this video. But nonetheless, your support still has an immense impact on me. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. Other ways to support the series are by liking, commenting, following, sharing, all that good stuff. You know the drill. Thank you again so much for watching. And remember, if you visit any of these pubs, tell them Raven sent you.